Hello everyone, welcome back to Fam For All Moms. My name is Sharzad and this is Susan Hello. Yara. And we have a super fun episode today. Yeah. You guys, today we're gonna share our tips for family dinner because you've been asking this. I guess because you probably see us on Instagram and stuff and we're constantly with our kids and showing what we're eating. So we're gonna share our tips with you. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Susan, kick it off. What's your first tip? You know, my first tip, I say this to a lot of people, I use a meal delivery service and lately I've been using Home Chef. I really love it. I think their service is simple, it's delicious. Nikosh likes it. And I like it so much, we already got you guys a discount code. It's For All Moms 30 That gets you $30 off of your first purchase when you check out. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so you like this because you're a super busy mama. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's so exhausting mm -hmm. to plan a meal, prep for a meal, cook a meal, you gotta go to the yeah. store, and then you the have to clean up. The store is the worst part for me. And it's like this five part thing yeah. that can take forever. And you know what I get stumped on a lot of times too is just the planning. It's not, you, the planning is really, really hard. Um, sometimes I buy like too many groceries just for this them. one meal. Mm -hmm. You know, like you have all the extra stuff that you have to get, like the produce, and then half of that goes to waste because it just sits in your fridge. Right. So what I like about having a meal delivery service is I get it like twice a week. Mm -hmm. So it's not my entire week, right. you know? So I know I have some solid meals mm -hmm. in the refrigerator. I tend to order like two, but you can order as many meals as you mm -hmm. want for the week. Um, and it goes over really, really well because I just open the refrigerator, it's all ready to to go. Mm -hmm. I like to get a salmon meal usually from mm -hmm. them and then some other kind of meal. It's awesome yeah. because Nikosh likes salmon. I know that that's something that he's gonna enjoy. Right. And it's just super easy to put together. I love meal delivery services too because I find that Michael and I, my husband, every night around dinner time, it's the same like, what do you want for dinner? I don't know, what do you want for dinner? What do I you know want that for game. Dinner? And it's like so dumb that we get mad at each other because we want the other one to pick out dinner. And this just takes the guesswork out of that. Yep. To just know you've got fresh, healthy food at your house that you can prepare. And I also will say, mm -hmm. between Michael and I, I am the one who usually spearheads dinner and cooks, and Same. sometimes I get burnt out. But when you have easy to follow instructions, Hubby can take on that role yep. and like do the dinner thing and feels confident because he has all the tools to succeed. <laughs> I know it sounds cheesy, but it's totally true. Yep. He feels like, a badass when he prepares like a really I agree. Meal. I mean, it's so simple. You get a recipe card, mm -hmm. you have all the ingredients proportioned for you, right. and then you just like rinse them, chop them. And what I like about Home Chef mm -hmm. is that it's usually really simple. Right. It's delicious, but it's simple. Yeah. Um, and then you get it all ready, you cook it, and it's usually ready in like 20 minutes. That's awesome. It's like super simple. That's awesome. It's nice because there's always variety, you know? And Definitely. there, and it kind of gets you out of your cooking comfort zone. Like, mm -hmm. I have a couple go-to meals that like I can do in my sleep, I can do with my eyes closed. Same. And you know, I don't want to always eat the same thing. I, you know, variety is the spice of life. I well, want to try new stuff yeah. all the time. You know what's funny is I've ordered salmon from them more mm. than once, and each salmon dish totally different. is different. And I like that because mm -hmm. it's also showing me a different way to cook right. the same things that I'm cooking. And you know what I've noticed is Nikosh likes variety lately. Mm, like good, we good, might good. we might be like, oh, he loves this. And then we try to give it to him again, like this the next day, like yeah, a yeah. leftover. And he's like, no, I don't want that today. Yeah. And he's wanting that variety, you know? So tip one, I would say, is to try a meal delivery service. It takes the stress out of planning mm -hmm. a meal and it gives you variety and it kind of empowers you to be your own chef, which I love. I agree. Mm -hmm. so tip two, which you touched on, I think, is including your kids into what you're eating. So they're yes. eating the same thing you are. Because mm -hmm. I think that like opens up their palate if you start at an early age giving them salmon and yeah. veggies yeah, and Yeah, feeding with them flavor. the same meal that you're eating. Yeah. yeah, instead of giving them their own meal. I right. kind of feel like that's counterintuitive when you really think about yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, I fall in the trap too because sometimes my kids go through phases where they're like all of a sudden they hate everything yeah, and they it's get like picky. only quesadillas or only yeah. whatever. Pizza. It, on, yeah, pizza they on could repeat. eat pizza every night for the rest of their lives, my husband as well. But I don't, I'm not cool with that. Yeah. But I think it's good to incorporate adult food into a kid's I agree. palate and lifestyle. Yeah, you know? you know, it was actually a tip that my pediatrician gave me because mm -hmm. as like a first time mom, I was thinking like, oh, I'm going to give him purees and do all this stuff like baby food. And she was like, no, he's six months old, start to like whatever it is that you're eating, just mm -hmm. mash it up for him and like give it to him and let him eat it. That way he starts to build his palate. Right. Um, he'll have less of a chance of like building these allergies mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So instead, just like start to eat what you're eating. That way right. it becomes a family thing. And it's important to know that 
you know, if your kids don't like your adult food, don't get discouraged. Don't just write it off. Cause sometimes they might not like it or it's got too much spice or something like that, but or it's good to try. It's good to try. Yeah. And you know what? They're just like us. Like sometimes you don't feel like eating something. Sometimes they don't feel like eating something. Doesn't mean that the next time they won't eat it. Cause I find with Nikosh, he, he sometimes wants it and sometimes he doesn't. Tip three, I think is eating together at a table, like making it a real family meal. So I start to notice that Nikosh, you know, we started feeding him just kind of in his high chair by mm. himself. And we'd like stand over him and be like, <laughs> of course, you know? yeah. And it's, you know, I started to realize he didn't really want to eat by himself. He wanted to eat with us. And so it started becoming more of a family thing. And I started noticing he was eating more when we he saw us eating. Of course, yeah, yeah. And you know, he probably wants to mimic your behavior and show off. And mm -hmm. in my house, dinner time is usually like a big deal. We like to make it a big deal. We like to make it fun. The thought of one of my kids eating alone, like, I don't know, to me is heartbreaking. So I never want them Aww. to sit and eat alone. So I, you know, I like to make it a thing. Uh, which means we have dinner at like 5.30. Yeah, I know, that's, early bird that, special. That has changed things. Like we definitely have made our dinner start a lot earlier. It happens, yeah. sometimes six. Ooh, living on the edge. Yeah. Tip number four is I really try and avoid electronics at the dinner table at home. Mm -hmm. Out at a restaurant, it's a different thing. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll definitely let them get on something techy. It's a special occasion thing. A yeah. special occasion thing for sure. But at home, I don't want any distractions from TV, iPads, mm -hmm. even cell phones, which, you know, is hard. I try and, it is. I try and talk, walk the talk as well myself yep. and put it away so we can focus on food mm -hmm. and understand how lucky we are to have all this food and how important it is. I you know? completely agree. Um, sometimes I noticed like we would have the TV on mm -hmm. and then Nikosh, like in the beginning, he wasn't paying attention to the TV. Right. And then there was a day where I realized like he just stares at the TV and he's just shoveling food in his mouth and not paying attention. Right. And that's a bad habit for adults. So it's probably a bad habit for kids. Yeah. When you're not mindful of what you're eating and you're just watching something and of course we all do it every yeah. now and then but I'm saying in general and what I strive for yeah unlike does the it happen basis. every day no of course not because I'm human but I try and make dinner special no electronics and really think about what I'm eating okay. you know so in my house things get very messy <laughs> around dinner time because Cyrus is a beast mm -hmm. <laughs> and but I let it I'm okay with him making a huge mess when yep. he eats because he's dirty from the day anyway, might as well get a little dirtier because he's going to get a bath. So I kind of just let him go for it with his mm -hmm. food. Yep. What about you? Tip number five is to let your kids be when they eat. And this is a tip that I learned from you. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was starting, when I was with Nikosh in the beginning, I'd be like, oh, like wipe his mouth. Then I'd wipe his hands and stuff. And I noticed he didn't enjoy eating as much mm. because I was like getting up in there and being like neurotic right. and cleaning him up. And then I start to realize from watching your Instagram <laughs> stories, I was like, well, you know, because you're, you're always like, like Cyrus loves eating. He loves oh it, Oh my right? God, this kid, if he's not a chef when he grows up, I will be shocked. Yeah. He loves food. He yeah. loves all adult food. Yeah, and mm -hmm. one of the things I noticed was that you would, you would like let him really get all up in it and enjoy it and not critique him essentially, <laughs> you know, right? Whereas I, I was like this controlling mom. Yeah. No, and I, you know, normal. I was like, you know what? I should just let it go and let him be. And he does, he enjoys it so much more really? if I'm just like, go for it. That's cool. I and like that he ends you up like this, like sticky. Yeah. And you know, that phase of them making a huge mess when they eat in the grand scheme of things, it's so short. I know. It is. I mean, look, it's a pain like on the weekends when they have three, four meals a day that you're cleaning up head to toe and you're like, Oh my God, what is my life? Everything is a huge mess. But I look back and I think it's hilarious and he does love food. He has yeah. a good, my everybody in my family has a great relationship with food. <laughs> a little too good, you know what I mean. Oh God. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of FAM. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and you guys can always keep the convo going in the comments below if you have any great tips for mealtime with mm -hmm. your kiddos. Definitely, and you can also join us in our private Facebook group. It's really growing, yeah, right? It is. It, it is. is going. There are lots of moms in there. It's um, FAM for all moms on Facebook. We'll leave a link below in the description. You can join it. Just answer a quick question mm -hmm. and you're in. All right, you guys, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.